Hey everyone, welcome back to Cocktails and forgot the name of my show. Hey everyone, welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles. Today I'm joined by the awesome Matt. Matt is one of the best FPS people I've met, and today I'm going to go head to head with him in the seminal classic GoldenEye. He's going to try to take pity on me. So to show our love for 007, we thought we'd do a showdown of the classic James Bond martinis. Starting with the one made popular by Sean Connery, which is the equivalent of opening up a bottle of vodka and sticking a straw in it. And then we have the new one done by Daniel Craig called the Vesper, which as far as I understand is more true to how Ian Fleming wrote it. Is that correct? I believe that is correct. That's Though cool. these are not actual martinis. Martinis are made with gin. Yes. So comparatively speaking, the Vesper is more of a martini than... Sorry, Sean. It's just, it's just not. It's just not. But we're going to drink it anyways because that's what we do here. So... To get us started, I think I'll start off with the Sean Connery version. Would you like to do the honor? Oh, sure. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> oh. Magic. <laughs> this is our special effects, by the way. It's all built into the table. All right, to kick us off, we're going to start with two and a half ounces of vodka, pre-measured for your convenience. Really for our convenience. It is for our convenience. Add to that a splash of vermouth. Now you can go sweet vermouth, you can go dry vermouth. I went a little on the sweeter side. It actually smells kind of nice. Mm, it's not bad. Yeah, I can tell it's a little strong, so I'm going to be a little easy on that. All right. And then as 007 requested, it is always shaken, not stirred, which you can do with a vodka martini. You really should not do with a gin martini because gin has a lot of aromatics. It has a lot of herbs that were blended into it, which get a little bruised when you put it through the ringer. But this is vodka. It was made to be shaken. So here we go. Of course, it's got to have a twist. Aw, that's cute. Remember, 30 minutes before you go swimming. Ooh. And about 90 days before you drive. Try this. Hmm. That is vodka martini. That is vodka mm. in a martini glass. All right. So Matt, why don't you show us the cooler way of doing the James Bond martini. The Vesper, of course. Ice is not your friend, it likes to escape. Like every James Bond villain. Now then, we have here the vodka, mm -hmm. which I believe is one ounce. Mm -hmm. uh, half an ounce. Half an ounce of vodka. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> pour that in there. Again, pour it for our convenience. And an ounce and a half of gin. Yeah, uh, two ounces of gin, oh, actually. Two ounces of gin. Oh, well, yes. we. Certainly uh, want this to be ginny. Excellent. And as Daniel Craig said, it has to be Gordon's gin. It doesn't have to be Gordon's gin. Any kind has of gin to is be. good. <laughs> you do not argue with Daniel Craig. He will kill you. Have you seen him? <laughs> Lastly, we have the, how would I pronounce that? Lilith? <laughs> Lilith? I, I think it's technically called a Lillet. Lillet. Well, it's France, so it's France. <laughs> and just a smidgen of that. My measurement style is horrible. So we'll say that's about a smidgen to a smidgen and a half. And we shake this up. Got a little over. Oh, that looks pretty. No oh, fair. Your, your, your top does that too. Yep. You can actually turn any mason jar into a shaker. They do sell these kind of tops. So much easier than class in Boston Shaker. Every time I have one of those, I can't seem to break the damn seal. And I like some lemon. Ah. So we're gonna do a couple extra. Not you, I don't like you. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, blended well. Taste the gin in the initial, which is always good, and then it 
Oh, wow. Mellows out right away with the uh, vodka. I like that. The gin's not the hitting your nose off the bat. The le -le 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 -le. <laughs> so you ready for the showdown? Sure. Actually, more. are you ready for the showdown? I'm going to do this. It will be painful. <laughs> Very much so. But it will be fun. So come join us as we, as I test my metal on Goldeneye. Ba -da -ba -da. Hey there, you awesome people. Welcome back to cocktails and console settings where we have been fighting with the system to be able to get it to record. But thankfully, thankfully, with enough alcohol and willpower, we've been able to get this to work. I'm here with the ever awesome Matt. Hello, people. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, we're in the game. Oh, what shit. Am I doing? Oh, <laughs> time oh, to kill. Wait, wait, wait. Give me what? a minute what? to no. talk everyone in. Okay, talk everyone in. All right. So for those of you guys who are just joining us and new to the series, we are playing the ever-popular Golden High. This is Golden High remake, though. She's getting shot in the face. As you can see, she's dead All right. Uh, Whoa. What the hell is blowing? What were you throwing at me? I was starting to blow up. That's not cool. Somebody's rude. Oh, James, that was an unpleasant surprise. We aim to please. I'm sure we do. But, uh, to be fair, just so everybody knows, she's got aim assist on. Hey. Hey, uh, 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 are, we, are we shooting at me? That's rude. Uh, we are shooting at oh! you. Oh, wow, you are bad then. You had that many shots and you didn't kill me? Goodness. Damn it. This is off to a great start. Once again, James, with... the pleasure is all yours. What is with this scope? Hold on. So for those of you guys who, like me, grew up on this game, you'll be happy to know that they have remastered this game for at least the PSI! Oh, this is why now, I don't play PvP games! To no. be fair, I didn't. I told her not to take Jaws, he's the worst character, she chose Jaws. Play, yeah, aim assist, and I can't even lock on you. What is this? Well, it probably locks, but it locks body. I'm shooting yeah. you in the face if I can oh, help it. Oh, thanks, that's helpful. It is, actually. It's very helpful for me. So, to distract you, what is your favorite Bond movie to date? Right now? Mm. Casino Royale is... Well, yes, no. To date, Casino Royale, probably one of the best ones they've done. Ah. I did like how they did Spectre. Spectre was good. Which we went to see. That was <laughs> awesome. Thank you. It was a I like that birthday. they went to do Blofeld, which was Blofeld. very cool. By the way, spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> I like that they did that, but then it really is reminiscent of the old Bonds as opposed to the new Bonds that really Daniel Craig did, which are more action-y Bonds rather than Bond being, you know, some sort of a mastermind. As you guys can see, I'm kind of camping at the top of the stairs here about like a jerk because if she tried to come upstairs, I'd murder her. But it's good for she, me to doesn't, know. she doesn't know where I'm at, and I'm assuming there are multiple sets of stairs, and considering she said that, I'm assuming there are stairs near her. Oh. I did see her. Oh, she got shot in the head. Oh, how unfortunate for aim assist. <laughs> oh. Aim assist is the fail. Is the fail, yes. Now then, people, for those of you... Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, God, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I gotta reload. Let me hide by this computer bank while I do that. So As you can see, she did not kill me during that entire spectrum. If you are wondering, oh, I play MMOs the exact same way. I am learning to be a better gamer... Oh, it, it will come about slowly. It's, it's a slow, painful process. That it is. So you were saying, so what is it about these new Bond movies that kind of resonates with you? Well, what I like with the new Bond movies is that really Daniel Craig brought more of an action-packed scene to it. Daniel Craig is a very action-based Bond. He's not a very suave Bond. Oh my goodness, I'm being shot at. I'm going to need to kill somebody. Dead. <laughs> Seriously, I am shooting you in the face. And no, it's not you, you you tried to ambush me and see you see those little blood marks that are on me, then they go away. That means my health regenerated yeah, because that's how Bond me. works. Now that, yeah, Bond is. So I'm gonna look in this Bond corner so you can't look at my screen and see where I'm at like a <laughs> cheater. Of course I'm. While I talk. Cheat. Now then, I'm gonna take a drink because I killed you, as is the best way to do this to give you a better shot. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm gonna hunt while you chat. Feel free. Okay. Now then, Daniel Craig has delivered a new Bond performance where he's really action-based more than anything else. Being an action-based Bond is very interesting, but at the same time, takes away from the suave Bond that we like. Now, Sean Connery delivered the best performance of action and adventure because he actually was very suave, because Sean Connery is sexy as shit, 
That he is. No homo. And <laughs> he, even though delivered very little action, it was still very appropriate action. Oh, look, I'm being shot at. It was very appropriate action for the time. <gasps> yeah! Oh my goodness, I that died. deserves a drink. I died? What the? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need the gun, Commander. Well, that depends on your definition of safe sex. Now then. Always semi-automatic. So I'm sorry, you were saying... Yeah, so from a straight male, I'm curious. The hmm. sexiness factor between Sean Connery and Daniel Craig. Who do you give the bonus to? Hold on. That's not a rain of bullets you guys are hearing. That's just rain. That is teabagging the jaws, which is dangerous. I, I'm no longer there. My corpse is gone. Still teabagging oh, the jaws. What? Am I breaking the fourth wall? No. It's teabagging which, the jaws. By the way, Deadpool, I, I, if you've not seen it, go see it. I recommend for everyone. Mm -hmm. Jaw, Deadpool, I recommend. And number <laughs> one, two. Teabagging the jaws. Yeah, it's real dangerous, people, but if you pull it off, good job. Am I being shot at? Oh, yes, look, I am. Goodness, what? Well, that's. Let's fire back. Oh, oh you got me on the reload. More teabagging. More teabagging for Jaws. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Now, as people... Oh, wait. That requires a drink. I'm going yeah. to pause while I take it. Oh, no, cheers. You don't have to drink. Oh, cheers, but... And cheers to you, audience, for joining us. Woohoo! Now then... No, no, no. <laughs> Let's start hunting for someone to kill. What did we set the kill level to? I don't. I didn't even see what the number I'm of kills we needed was. I'm not quite sure. I, all I know is that you were leading Let's me see. by an embarrassing amount. Eight to one. No, I'm good. It's good. It's fine. It's not embarrassing yet. It'll be embarrassing. You got one kill, so it's not I a total embarrassment. I got one kill. Let me switch weapons. I'm going to go piss the ladder now, people. So, I agree with you. I think Daniel Craig, at least in the early ones, had kind of a boyish charm to him. Oh, no. I thought Daniel Craig was an awesome Bond. As, oh, he's yeah, a, he's a great right action here. Bond. He is a great oh, no. action Bond. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's empty. Oh, ah! semi-automatic at That's me. That's two. Well, of course, I switched to a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> a semi-automatic versus a pistol. I'd hope you fucking win. <laughs> Never bring a knife to a gunfight. Uh, that's not true. It depends on the distance. You know that is true. I think they kind of proved that in Mythbusters that mm -hmm. at a certain range, a knife is definitely your friend. I have a feeling you're coming up on my ass. 20 feet. So w one so. of these times, we'll actually have enough time in between bouts that we're actually able to finish a coherent thought. What? Coherent thoughts aren't necessary in this. No. It's about the murder. We have several episodes that we can dedicate to talking about how gorgeous... James Bond is. Although, okay. Oh, goodness, how gorgeous James Bond is? Well, we are. No. That'd be hard to cover. That's that's a full <laughs> documentary unto itself. <laughs> that would be. Though I will say, um, in the mm -hmm. most recent James Bond, I think Daniel Craig has kind of come over that crest where his aggressiveness is no longer sexy, is now bordering on uh, CSI. Really? Do you remember, and sorry spoilers for anyone who has not seen it yet, um, in the Ooh, most recent one... I can fall to was rail. What did Monica they Bellucci? No. What, what was her name? The, um, the widow, where he, he like, approaches her really strongly in the hallway. Approaches the widow strongly in the hallway. I Daniel can, Craig? Yeah. Uh... But she was, like, the wife of a mobster... He throws down the glass and he stalks at her and you're seeing the camera from his like heel level. Wait, was that that was in that was that Inspector? In no, was that Inspector? That was Inspector. Hi. Hey. Oh. Why am I always at foot length? Because... And I have to reload. Oh goodness. It's a battle of the reload. <laughs> oh! Damn pistol. <laughs> Alright, you got two girls. I'm bringing more. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I can't remember her name. She she ages unbelievably well, but yeah, that whole scene, I kind of wanted to give her a rape whistle. It was a little disturbing. I'm trying to remember it from Spectre. Oh, hi. Oh, look, you're shooting at me. Uh-huh. Cool. You're reloading. I'm going to shoot you. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, I died! <laughs> <laughs> and I switched guns. That is horrible <laughs> on my part. 
What is the score now? All right, that's oh, it. Oh, catch it up. That's it. I'm at 50%. That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to see if they are going to use Daniel Craig again. Aren't they still kind of in discussions on whether or not he's going to be the next the next Bond? I'm not sure. Because, I mean, he did... I thought his contract was only for three movies, but he did four, so... Mm. Wow. Kind of sad. For I those of you at home that are wondering, we are actually playing this without sound, and I'm going to tell you that makes a huge difference. <laughs> it does. And to all those wonderful people who are listening, I hope the sound shows up for you guys. This is our first time doing the recording with the Elgato screen capture to where, with all the research I did for the show, what? Boom! Game over! Time! Uh, ah! Right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> well done, sir. Well, I must say, I've had a lovely evening. You? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, James, the pleasure was all yours. Mm -mm. So thank you all for joining us for this wonderful first adventure where we try to play a PS3 game and record it simultaneously. Thank you all for joining, and we will see you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. I need to get glasses that clink better. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, you can throw me a subscribe, would really appreciate it. If you're just coming in new to the series, you want to catch up, the link to the playlist is down below. And if you just want to chat, would love to hear from you. What's going on in your world? Hit me up on social media. Till next time, awesome people. Cheers.